friends welcome to my channel i hope everybody is doing good i was in bangalore and then i moved home in the month of april so in the month of june there was a lockdown due to which i was unable to travel back and that's when i think i thought of painting on something but my place is not a town and there was no delivery to that area at that time so my sister had two pairs of this chappal and i borrowed one of them seeing that if i spoil this i will buy her a new one this isn't a branded shoe or something it was some 300 bucks i guess first when i was mixing this pink i was thinking i'll make a watermelon theme on this chappal i don't know from where all these i have this watermelon theme in my mind but yeah i thought of doing that and here's the mess that i created after completing this with the pink layer I did apply some two layers of pink actually and then I tried you know sketching it with a pencil which I could not and then I went with a pen the surface is actually very you know not even smooth it's a slippery kind As you can see I'm randomly sketching some shapes which I have changed later on like which I have painted over and I did not go with the idea of making them both look identical by just placing the fruits or the shape of them in the same place I just went on randomly sketching it and that, but then I just made sure that I had one avocado or those things in the first frame just to make it look okay matching at least If you notice at the end you'll be able to see like there are two pineapples which is like intersecting I don't know I tried to make it look like it was in the same thing and that also I did it by the end like when I was almost completing this that's when I realized I can do that by the time i completed painting few you know few fruit sketches i realized that the uh, you know the pen mark wasn't actually getting covered you will be able to make out the pen marks if you watch it closely so it took me some time to get this gesso delivered after which i gave a nice thick coat of gesso so basically i started this in june but i completed it in the first week of september when i actually moved to bangalore back, back to bangalore because in between i felt the necessity of a thin brush because i had to go with the detailing and stuff and it did not have the particular color markers so i had to get that as that ordered as well because i was generally you know i was trying to make it nice i did not want to compromise and that's why i decided to go with it so by the time the gesso the brush and everything came it actually had taken a lot of time but also because if you see i did not continuously paint all the way like if i had started the uh, painting the orange i did not continue painting it till the time it was done i had to give some break because i had to let it dry after which i had to go with another you know so in between when it was getting dried i was painting the other vegetables i mean the other fruits but yeah i am not always into something i ha i'll have to keep changing and doing certain other things it's only when my mood allows i'll do something it's not like i have to do and that's why i do so it really uh, you know i kept dragging it kept dragging it and finally completed even after the gesso i was actually giving a very thick coat of paint so so that i can cover the uh, you know the pen marks usually i don't go with a thick layer of paint i always go with very you know very less amount of paint because i know for the fact that i will keep changing whatever i have already done i'll keep changing i'll keep changing the design or anything like that like after all this hustle of giving so many layers of paint and applying just so somehow i managed to cover the pen marks and somehow i thought it came out good it's actually one of my favorite you know the thing i was you know i was planning to make this kind of a print sort of thing since a very long time i don't know why i have this attachment with fruits 
I don't know. I'm very interested in in this fruit, you know, fruit carton kinds of. And I gave a nice coat of varnish once this was done because I did not want this to get spoiled. And I did paint both of these sandals simultaneously. I enjoyed painting this and that's the reason I chose this particular fruit thing. So here you go, the final look. It did look very good and I tried wearing this as well. It looked really pretty. And I left to Bangalore as soon as I completed this so I did not get the time to actually go and make a nice video of how it looked at the end. And uh, all these clips that you can see at the end is all you know shot by my sister she actually doesn't have any idea of these videos or anything but she did a pretty good job but i had to do a lot of cutting and editing in this and i'm talking as if i'm a big youtuber that isn't the case but definitely when i do i do it in my perspective anyway thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe to my channel if you like this video